Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and yes, this is Airport CEO, a brand new game on the channel in what will might turn out to be an ongoing, could be quite a long series. We'll see how far I get before everything comes crashing around my ears. But anyway, um, first off, I have to give huge thanks to the guys at Apoapsis, and I hope I've pronounced the name correctly, who offered me a key to the game uh, shortly after it was released, saying, would you like to have a look at this and put it up on the channel and, and see if you can have fun with it? And hopefully, you know, introduce it to some of you who may not have seen it before or may be wondering about it and thinking, OK, I've seen you play those other games. Does this one stack up as well? So hopefully I'll be able to do that for you and have some fun along the way. Right now, uh, I also ought to say here at this point, in terms of full disclosure and honesty, I've been avoiding this game for quite some time. When I was looking at uh, getting an airport builder kind of game to get into for the channel, Sim Airport and Airport CEO were up in early access around the same sort of time. But they've taken quite different approaches to the game mechanics and how the whole thing works and how it simulates an airport. And at that time, we're talking a couple of years or so ago, I looked at the two games and Sim Airport seemed to be a little bit more accessible, if you will, easier to get into, a little bit more like fun. Whereas Airport CEO seemed to be much more serious, more complicated, more management than building an airport and having fun with flying planes in and out. And it just looked kind of clunky and weird and too many things going on which weren't intuitive or too obvious when I was looking at sort of some of the Let's Plays at that time. So I, I'm so grateful to the guys at Apoapsis for allowing me to have this and just have a look at it and get to know it. And you know, I might be changing my opinion of the game. It's obviously gone through a lot of development. The guys are obviously really committed to creating a great game, which is in a sense realistic, but also should be fun to play. And also a bit of a challenge, as I think we'll find out. The first thing to say, well, I've said so many first things already, haven't I? The other first thing to say is here, I really do like this front screen. You've got real sort of airport announcements going on in the background. The game does have a soundtrack, which we didn't have in Sim Airport, so that's kind of nice. It's not great music, to be honest. It's kind of twinkly background music kind of stuff, but it sort of works, and obviously you can turn it off if you don't want it. But I like this sort of front screen here. It looks and sounds like a real old-fashioned airport display board. That is cool, isn't it? <laughs> Stop playing with it, man. Right, what I'm going to do to start with is just have a look at the airport I created following the tutorial. I spent about, oh, three hours or so in the game just sort of messing around a bit and trying to tease things out of, out of the tutorial and see if I can understand it. Uh, well, let's see what happens when we get into, this, into the airport. Right, so here we are. This is my, my, my first crack at an airport. Uh, it looks a bit rubbish. And the first thing, I'm, I'm saying first thing a lot, but this is the first episode, so I'm, I'm allowed to do that, am I? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, when I came into this save just now, it's in preparation for this recording, I noticed, hang on, I noticed the ground has changed colour. Uh, the game has seasons. It has weather, just like Sim Airport does, but I think it is much more impactful in this game. Uh, from what I've read on the forums and some of the other plays I've seen, I've not seen too many Let's Plays and stuff, to be honest with you, uh, but from what I understand of the mechanics of the game, weather is much more involved in what's happening at the airport. So, for example, this space here, my airport map, my world, was green until I loaded up this, this game save. And I did receive a notification, which is now gone, I think. I'm not sure I can... Can I bring any of these back? I'm not sure I can. Um, no, it's not only... It's, what's that? No, this is just filters, isn't it? No, I think it's gone. It did tell me that autumn was arriving, so I assume this is the autumnal look, or fall, as some of you may know it. But there you are. So, this is the tutorial. Uh, I Sorry, I follow the tutorial. It's not a bad tutorial. It takes you through how everything works. But I'm, and it does sort of give you, if you extend the, the full thing here, it gives you all sorts of did you know kind of stuff, which is quite nice, which can include a mix of extra little tips for playing the game in terms of how it works, in terms of the keys you can use and so on. Uh, but it also 
Uh, it also tells you some sort of background information in, in little bits anyway about aircraft and air, airport operation in general. So, but there were a couple of things in it which confused me and I thought, oh, that's a little bit weird. So let's take a look at some of them. Uh, I think we can call up the tutorial by going in, yeah. So the tutorial can be sort of recalled here at any point. So, oh yeah, as you can see, we've, I'm in, I've done small air for airfield. I'm in the process of creating a regional airport now in, in terms of the tutorial. And uh, this will end up being an international airport at some point. Uh, right, so have a look at this. So this this is what you can look at here. You don't get all these pictures, I think, in the smartphone thing here. No, uh, but they are here, which obviously gives you a bit, uh, a, a bit, a better view of what you're supposed to be doing in terms of the layout. So to be honest, it might be better to follow the tutorial from here or come into it when you want to do something to give you that sort of visual clue. I mean, maybe you work things out yourself, but I don't know how I don't know how airports work. I don't know all the ins and outs of the mechanics, the operational elements of it, and so on. So. I'm hoping the game will either simplify that enough for me to understand it or guide me through creating it to start with and then give me freedom to do what I like within the constraint of the game itself. Right, one little thing that confused me when I was doing the tutorial was this first step here. We're sort of halfway through the regional airport thing, I think, at the moment. Drag out a staff room. Okay, that's fine, we can do that. So the staff room, it does tell you it's down here, zones and rooms. So we've got staff, so secure zone, bathroom, and staff room defines a room where staff can do admin work or relax when there's nothing to do. That's cool. So if I click on staff room, oh, we'll come to these colors in a moment. <laughs> and I put one down there and it says, oh, that, that's fine, that's that. And that's the staff room. There's no walls on it, it's just an area. Now what I've done in this uh, bit here, which I've already created obviously, is I've actually put a staff zone around this, which actually prevents ordinary people coming into this area and doing what they like. And this room thing applies to toilets and bathrooms as well. So I can create, as I did here, a passenger bathroom with no walls at all. And it works. If I, is the game running? The game should be running. I should have people in here. Does anyone want to go to the toilet? There you go. Yeah, it comes in here. I put a waste bin in as well. Goes in there, does the business. Washes his hands. Doesn't dry his hands, strangely enough. Okay. The only thing I noticed about this, though, was that uh, the men did not use the urinal unless it was in a room. That may be, I may be wrong about that, but that's, <laughs> that was the only limitation on this. And the same thing with the secure zone, setting this up. I haven't put any walls in here at all, so there's nothing physically preventing passengers or anyone else entering this zone whatsoever, apart from the fact that I've said it's secure. Now that strikes me as slightly odd. In these sort of builder games, there should be a distinction between a zone and a room, and walls should have an impact. And I'm sure they do, but that's not immediately clear here. So you can do all sorts of things without worrying about setting up rooms. And that confused the hell out of me. Now I'm just gonna do some tinkering with the game and show you something which took me an age to, to sort out. Bear with me, I'll just be back. I'll just sort of flash a video effect for you. We'll be back in just a second. Okay, so what the game asked me to do in the tutorial was to turn these general aviation stands, and we'll get to those shortly, into commercial stands with check-ins, security, um, and boarding desks and all the rest of it. So I turned all this terminal zone here. That was in secure zone. That was secure zone. So that was fine. But it was still saying up here, the object is not functional. Uh, if I if I click on it, are you going to tell me why you're not functional? Tell me why you're not functional. Up oh, there it is. If you click on the stand, it tells you, security checkpoint not connected. And I think to myself, because I'm so familiar with how Sim Airport works, is it's behind a secure zone. 
apparently. So why? what's the problem there? And the problem here was that the security zone has to actually cover all the, the entire path to the stand. This may obviously be different for, for remote stands and stuff, but this this took me a while to sort out. I had to go searching on the forums and so on to work this out. Uh, so I need to, if I do it from there, I think, and make that a secure zone. There you are. And you see now that that little exclamation mark, as we would know it in Sim Airport, the error message there has gone. So it's now secure. So again, if I had walls in here, that might be different. I don't know. It's very strange. Okay, uh, was there anything else in here that struck me as slightly odd in terms of setup? No, I think that's probably about it. So what I'm going to do now for you is go through the... No, I won't. The first thing I want to do is the first thing that I complained about on the forums and then was told, you're an idiot, which was in fact true. Let's look at these secure zones. No, let's not do that. If we look at adding in some toilets into there, into the bathroom, the whole zone thing comes up with these very bright and very dark colours. And it can be difficult on some things if we say go down here to... Actually, let's put in a desk. Uh, there's the, No, it's not a desk, it's staff. An office desk here into the staff zone. I mean, on these things, it can be a little awkward to work out exactly what you're looking at. And certainly with these colours this bright, it's not obvious sometimes. It wasn't to me, perhaps it's my poor eyesight <laughs> that had quite exactly the orientation of these objects. And I thought, please can we have a way of turning this brightness down just like you do in Sim Airport? And of course, there is a way. Uh, I, I spent minutes, min literally lots of minutes, looking at this and not finding it. So you go to graphic settings and you think, okay, there must be a way of turning this zone thing down. So if I turn it on again, Will it do it automatically? Will it show you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it turns it off. Uh, so I went into graphic settings and it's here. It's this zone overlay. I'm not sure. I didn't see it when I first came into the game. I spent minutes I said, looking at this and not seeing it. So if I turn that down to something like, say, 45%, save that. Does that look better? That's better. Less of a pain on the in the eyes. And that's, that's a much more workable colour, I think. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to quit back out. We're going to start a brand new game and we'll have a look through the tutorial and how you create your very first airport in Airport CEO. So here we are. We've started again. We're going to create a brand new airport, begin a new adventure. OK, now, the first thing we need to do is identify who we are. You have all these choices. I'm not quite sure why you need to faff around with this. I mean, people do like this, having their own avatar. Uh, that could be me. Do I want a different face? Who's the most handsome face here? Who's got the jawline to die for? Oh, that'll do. Uh, no, I don't like you. <laughs> You'll have to do. Hairstyle? Oh, good God, no. Uh, haircut? Oh, no. Hair colour. Um, that actually, that's quite a nice look. Yeah, I do. Do you have? I don't think you have glasses in here. Do you have glasses? No, it doesn't look like I have glasses. No, that that will do. I think. Uh, mouth. I have a mouth. I have noses and stuff. So you can you can spend some time here, defining what you look like. Yeah, that, that could be, that's very piercing eyes, actually. looks kind of scary. Uh, uh, what sort of suit? Do I want to be properly suited and booted or a little bit more casual? Actually, I quite like the purple outfit. That, that has a, 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 a flamboyance to it, doesn't it? So, yeah, we'll do that, definitely. Okay, and who am I? I am, of course, as always, Adam Slade. Uh, this only... I don't know why you, you do actually appear in the game like in, say, Rex Center Tycoon and one or two of the other games where you you create a, a character who works in the airport. Uh, but uh, there you are. And where about shall we, where shall we be based, our little airport? Uh, I want to drag you around. Uh, so we could be here. 
Uh, again, unlike Sim Airport, you are kind of playing a real world. So you have here, if I'm going to somewhere in the UK, I've got 52 local destinations, I think. Yeah, domestic uh, airports. If I go somewhere like uh, Germany, Baden-Baden. Have I been to Baden-Baden? I'm not sure. I might have been nearby on one of my travels. 450 local destinations. So that might impact sort of the business your airport can do. What about the Soviet Union? Oh, sorry, Russia is it now? It's <laughs> just 77. Oh. Okay, good. Uh, and down there, Cal Calgary. 450. Africa. No, stop messing around, man. We're going to go here. We are, of course... Actually, let's not go to Bristol. I might, If I understand this game properly, I might do a second series and try and recreate a real airport, which would probably be Bristol, wouldn't it? Uh, so let's start somewhere like Birmingham. Right, uh, you have some idea of the temperature. Apparently wind is quite common. Who's been talking? Um, rain is rain is rare in Birmingham. Okay, uh, temperatures are average. Everything's pretty average and cloudy. Fair enough. Uh, so you could go anywhere in the world. And as we'll see, all the flights that you receive do have destinations and stuff, which is kind of cool, rather than sort of the anonymous incoming flights that you have in Sim Airport. So my airport name, a Jacksonville Airport. No, we'll just call it Ajaxima. It's going to be Birmingham Ajaxima. That's what it'll be known as locally. And of course, the three-letter three code will be Ajax. Uh, what sort of logo do I want? This is what appears on your documentation and in other places, as I hope to show you as we go through this. You have a whole, a whole choice of logos you can choose. I don't know if you can sort of modify this. There is a mod. The game can be modded. From what I've seen, it's mostly uh, airlines, airline liveries, and things like these sort of stickers and stuff. But there are a lot of customization options within the game itself, beyond what was possible within Sim Airport. So maybe the need to sort of have modded assets, objects, and things like that doesn't quite doesn't quite doesn't isn't quite as necessary here as it was in the other one. Okay, let's go back to. I do quite like that. Hey, that. No, we'll do that. That's me. That's kind of flamboyant and we're off. Yes. Okay, in sandbox mode, I like this. It's a bit like some of those paradox games and so on, where you can actually define exactly how sandboxy you want it to be. So, what we're going to do here, we could have unlimited funds. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if I can actually make... Because I like the challenge of having to make money and stay solvent within the game. Uh, all projects. Projects, that's the R&D, as far as I can make out. So, we know we'll do research. All areas. Oh, I think that means things like the international zones and the baggage areas. So, no. Again, I think that's research. Uh, I'm not going to have animals because that's going to annoy me. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll discuss that when we get to that bit here. We will... Um, the economy simulation. Oh, let's put this on. Yeah. Uh, so we could do disable... No, I want them to spend time constructing stuff, I think. I can fast forward that through the edit, can't I? Uh, we will disable uh, emergencies. And we will... Uh, uh, we will disable animals. Sorry, that's that is on, oh, isn't it? That's right. Okay, so we'll apply that. Or and uh, we also have airport management mode here, and we can set this to. You'll start with very few little, or very few, very little funds. We'll start with a fair amount of things, and that also defines how rare or unrare, common would be a better word, of course. The the emergency events are. We'll make this. Should we make it? Easy. Oh, okay, we'll go go easy. I think that works. We not, won't go for a large map. Let's see what turns up. Okay, so here we are. And as you can see, my ground is green. Uh, I appear to have some pools of water. Not quite sure how much of an impact they will have on my construction. Let's pause the game here. Uh, oh, I didn't look at this, did I? In terms of controls, which I like to do on these sort of first look videos, uh, control settings. There's loads of key bindings you can do. 
as you can see here, for toggling things on and off, zooming in, rotating, and so on, uh, edge scrolling, and so on, the speed of the camera, is that mouse sensitivity kind of thing? Middle mouse panning? Yeah, I like to do that. Yeah, so we can do all that. Uh, in terms of the gameplay settings, Oh, I liked this, thank you very much, is I can set it to imperial measures, feet and inches and miles and stuff, and pounds sterling, uh, clock setting, pause game on start, yes I do like to do that, normal time, I'm not sure what that means, uh, alternate and, <laughs> uh, where's it gone, come back here, come back here, I like this, use the Schengen visa rules, yes, I may be British, but I'm also a very definite defiant european um so yes we will, we will be still in the eu in this map we will enable the tutorial uh, auto connect boarding desk to stand uh seasonal easter eggs we could do that yeah i don't know what uh, does this uh, does this tell me alternate dragging mesh method uh, i'm not going to worry about that that's all good stuff let's get into this let's actually get into the game shall we and do something right do we need the introduction uh, that's the build panel, that's where you build stuff. Uh, some things are, as you can see, greyed out because I need to do the research. This is the dashboard, which is where you sort of control all the operational stuff, the economic stuff, the staff and all the rest of it, the actual real running of the airport, and use the tab key to bring that in and out. There's various other ways of doing it as well, like these uh, buttons on the right hand side. Uh, okay, that's good. The economy tab, we've got this here. I, I want this game to be paused. Um, so this is where we sort of sign things like contracts. We manage our business end of it, basically. The operations is where we enable the various facilities of the airport, uh, enable them, and we set things up like fuel and catering. And as it de-icing, that's what makes me think that the weather has an impact on your airport you might have de-icing to do uh, okay that's good uh, the air the rate this this confused me the rating panel oh this is this here right so this gives me an idea of how how well my airport is loved at the moment it's not loved at all because we haven't done anything right uh, I have an email from the mayor the email there is welcome uh, Mr. Fonsworth, this name I think is fairly common. I'm not sure if the name's exactly the same, but it is very similar in pretty much every airport I've seen built. So, mm, okay, yeah, he wants us to, yeah, he wants us to do stuff, that's fine, we'll do that. Okay, right, and we've got the flight planner. We haven't got any commercial flights yet, so that's pointless. Uh, and there you are, right, so we now need to start building. The slightly odd thing here is that the road into the airport is bang in the centre, which I think makes some designing issues slightly more difficult. And I've seen a number of people immediately remove all this stuff uh, and then build a road more along the edge of their world, which makes it easier to sort of arrange the airport in a more logical fashion. I'm going to leave it like this, I think, for the time being, because, well, because it is. Right, now we need to build a runway. Uh, there we go. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We've got that. Right, so the first thing we need to do is sign contracts. We need to get some builders in so that we can actually get some stuff built. So this is on the economy tab. We need offered contracts. And we can filter this by whatever type of contract we're after. At the moment, we've only got, obviously got contractors uh, offering their services to us. We've got Heavy, they're offering 84 at 9.1 pounds per hour, or we've got Brickley. Cheaper, but many, many more. So should we sign that? Let's sign that. Okay, so we're now employing those guys. So we need now to go to the Operations tab and deploy the construction team. Okay, now what I did when I played this through first, is go immediately go max and get all 135 on site at the same time. Quite unnecessary, I think, unless you're doing a lot of building that uh, to start with, which 
you sort of are, but do you want all those people on site at the same time? Possibly not. So I'm going to just, uh, can I not, uh, you can't hold that down. Is there any way of increasing this by, say, groups of 10 or something? Because otherwise my click finger is going to get very, very tired. So either that will go, oh, I've gone max, bother, minimum is zero. Actually, if I go max and then take them off, that might be a quicker way of getting to the number I want. But probably not. Okay, I'll be back with you in a second when I've got the number I want. Okay, let's say I want 80. Now, I'm going to assume here, and I'm just assuming this, that I'm going to be charged £6.10 pence for these 80 contractors and not for all 135. So if we deploy those guys, there we go. I hear the phone ringing. They're being deployed. Oh, I need to have the game running. And they will turn up along here somewhere. There we are. Okay, right, some notifications. My airport is closed, I know that. What's that sign mean? That's important. Okay, I don't have an ATC tower, I know that. And the other notifications have all gone. Okay, I wonder if they can hang around. This game has been in early access for several years, so I dare say some of you will be very familiar with it. If you are, and can answer any other questions or correct me where I get things wrong, please do. Just drop a note into the comments box below. I'm more than happy to be corrected. So, that, ah, right, so they're coming in. Right, so we now need to get something in called General Aviation, which is just pilots with their own planes, as far as I understand it. Can I... No, this doesn't give me any more information. Um, people with their own planes who just come in and need somewhere to land and take off, basically. There are no passengers involved, so it's a very simple way of earning money. So we need a runway. So I need to do this. Right, so it tells me here I need this button here for aircraft infrastructure. I need a runway. I can only build a small one. And do I want grass, which is cheaper, or do I want asphalt? I want asphalt. I do. I don't want to start with grass, so I'm going to go asphalt. Okay, and the R key rotates it for me. Where do I want this? I'm thinking if I place this here, I think. Uh, let's, can I zoom out a bit from here? Let's stop that. No, I can't zoom out anymore. I'm zoomed out as far as I can. Oh, that's slightly annoying. Uh, rotate it again that way. Oh, I can. I can do this. Right. So you see, the air, the aircraft always come in in this single direction, which is fine. So I think, yeah, if we place that there, I think I'm happy with that. That's good. So okay. So let's get our guys building. We need two runway ramps, which are these things here again. Ooh. Yeah, you've got lots of different selections. We'll go asphalt as before. This needs to be placed down here. Rotate that. Okay, so I think that's how it, yep. If I try and turn it the other way, whoops, that way around, it says no. So it is quite good and it sort of tells you which direction things should, things that need a direction or need to connect to other things, it does tell you where they need to go. I could put it there. Would it work there? I don't know. Could you have a mid-runway ramp? Does that happen? I don't know. We'll put you there. Okay, we need at least five small stands. Okay, has it? Okay. So, these are the stands. Again, we'll go asphalt. So, what I'm thinking is we'll put these little planes along here. And then we'll use this space over here for our terminal and all our other sort of people-based stuff. Right, so let's pause this for a second while I think about this. So the aircraft are going to be coming in from left to right, basically. And they're going to land. So if we put them yeah, along here, I think. Should I put the runway, the taxiway in first? Let's let's try that. Uh, I've got a taxiway foundation. Now again, this is something which I had to look up. 
as to how wide this needs to be. As you can see, it's just one of those sort of big squares wide. Does it need to be a certain width to accommodate certain types of aircraft? I believe it does, but there's nothing that I could see in the tutorial which said it needs to be at least so many wide. So I'm just wondering, can I make it? Uh, let's get them out a bit from there. Can I make it just one wide? Will that work? Let's try this experiment. We'll make it one wide and there you go. Right. Okay, so that's our taxiway. Let's put on some stands, these asphalt ones. Let's get the game running again. I've done my thinking. <laughs> Spin this round and I will turn you to there. Okay, that's good. Right, uh, I will fast forward this a little bit while our little men come and deliver the construction materials and get working. Now, one of the really nice things about this game is, if I click, every person on the map has a character. They have a name. They have needs. They're going somewhere in particular, whatever. Okay, so, what's that? Uh, I think that's just telling me the we're not connected to the runway. I think. Oh no, it's like telling me something slightly different to that. Do I need to build more of these? Let's build some more of these. Uh, like, like the tutorial told me to. <laughs> uh, there you are. Uh, we want five of these apparently. Uh, that way. Uh, there and there. Okay, now clicking on one of these stands, it gives, does tell me it's not operational because it's not connected to the runway and it's not connected to, well, either for arrival or departure. Okay, so the taxiway has been completed. So the next thing we need to do is actually define the taxiway route. What's it, is it called anything in particular? It is, it's called, if we go down here, the taxiway path. So this is the route the aircraft take around the airport. So as you can see, they have this route on the runway already. So what I need to do uh, is connect them. Must be placed on taxiway foundation. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Oh, it's gone, right, so that's where. So I can put this all the way along here. Yeah, all the way down here. Scroll further down to there and there, and you're connected. Right, so we now need an ATC tower so we can get our flights coming in under controlled conditions. So it says it's not connected. I wonder if that's because the runway isn't enabled yet. Right, so let's get our ATC tower in here, which is again under the infrastructure tab. And there's our ATC. We've only got the little one to play with so far. Where on earth would this go? I really don't know. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to stick it, I think, I don't know. Put it somewhere, man. Right, we'll put you there. There you go. Get you built. And once that's done, we can uh, we can actually get some flights in, I think. As you can see here, uh, it got, does get us giving us various bits of tips, information and stuff. The airport is closed. Um, oh, some more emails coming in. We'll look at those later. What does this mean? Hourly balance. Oh, I am losing money. I've still got two and a half million plus to spend, so that's okay. Right, okay, the ATC is open, is there. Now we can accept our first flight. So these are GA flights, and all we need to do here is turn the airport on. To open the airport, so go into our operations tab. Uh, there it is, and the airport is now open. We will enable, we'll allow general aviation, so we'll allow you in. 
Okay, and now we just need to make the runway available for use. And we will turn you on. And everything's working now, which is excellent. So we just now need to wait for five aircraft to come in. Ah, right, so this is the full list of all the things to do. Right, this is the one thing that uh, confused me slightly, is the fencing, the perimeter fencing. Because you will get animals, uh, land-based animals anyway, that will sort of wander across your world. And fencing will keep them out. So we do need to place some fencing around the airport, apparently. But quite, is that all the way around? On all four sides? I wasn't entirely sure. Wasn't entirely sure. So I do need to do that, I think. So where is the fencing on here? Oh, that comes up later. Once we've got our five flights, I think. So they're coming in. And actually, they only need that one strip of taxiway. But I dare say your 747s and your Concords and so on will need a bit wider taxiway to get around here. That's our first aircraft. You're in. Uh, again, like Sim Airport, you can't rotate the map. You can't go into any sort of 3D type mode. But everything looks rather nice. Nonetheless, there's a nice level of detail to it. And I think that's the, the thing about the game that struck me when I first saw it in Early Access, is it looks more like a game for those who like a more realistic simulation, a more technically accurate simulation. Sim Airport is a game. It's based around airports and it works really well and it's great fun and does offer quite a good challenge. Uh, but it is still a game and airports do not work like this. I'm sure this has simplified quite a lot of things as well. But it does try to be a much more accurate airport simulation. So if we look at these stands, we can see here the stand is open, the condition is so and so, it will need repair at some point. So we've got that. You also get all sorts of detail about, just like those people on the ground, the contractors, you get information about the flights and everything. So as you can see, this is coming in from Durham, or it's going to fly out from here rather, Ajaxima in Birmingham, to Durham Tees Valley Airport. And it's going to be hanging around here by for five hours. Gosh, that's an awfully long time, isn't it? Okay, so we've now got our fifth flight has come in, so we now need to build fences and fence gates um, to complete this part of the tutorial. So what I will do is I will put some fencing up. Where is the fencing? It's here on the terminal infrastructure stuff. Fencing, yeah. Entering the airport grounds. So, oh, I will just place this uh, along here. Oh, you can't put it across the road, fair enough. And along there, and we need a gate. As I saw, when I started this, I did turn animals off, so hopefully they're not going to be an issue. So we'll put a gate there for no particularly good reason, apart from just getting <laughs> the tutorial out of the way. So we now have a fully functional airport. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is put some fueling in. Now, this is a lot simpler than it was <laughs> in Sim Airport, in a sense, in that what we need to do is actually create a airside service area. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode of Airport CEO here on Ajax Post Plays. This has been a little bit more wandering around than I sort of planned, to be honest, but I thought it'd be an interesting start to the game. I just wanted to show you a few things that were my impressions, first impressions of the game, and get things started. Uh, this airport may look a little different when you come back. I, was, I might improve it a bit. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these stands, for example. I mean, this was just a me messing around, seeing if it would work. But that taxiway is silly. Well, we'll see how far we get. Anyway, yes, so this has been first episode on Ajax Post Plays of Airport CEO. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, though, if you've any experience with the game uh, and can offer any hints, tips, suggestions, recommendations, it'd be awesome to hear from you. And, of course, if you want to see more of the game on the channel then do let me know just drop a note into the comments box below 
And finally, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post Plays, until the next time, bye bye for now. Thank you.